can't believe it. Look at all that blue up there. We had like almost 90,000 people, and I know 40,000 that were screaming for us. How about them Cowboys? Hello and welcome. Hotels.com invites you to travel back in time with the Dallas Cowboys to 2004 when the Cowboys selected little-known wide receiver from DeSoto, Texas and Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Patrick Creighton, in the seventh round. Creighton did enough to impress then-head coach Bill Parcells to not only make the team, but he ended up playing six seasons for the Cowboys, finishing with a career-high 50 catches during the 2007 season when the Cowboys went 13-3. This is time traveling with America's team. I remember talking to uh, certain scouts about you know, where they saw me at and everything. I had some tell me as high as third round down to maybe being a free agent. So I was like, man, that's a big window. God dang. Okay, so I geared in and, you know, got ready for the long haul. I wrote down every name drafted that day. And I put an asterisk beside every receiver. And it was the year because Larry Fitzgerald went number three. And then I remember a couple of receivers that went ahead of me. Uh, one went to Oakland, like fourth round or something like that. He came and he was here at the Dallas Day uh, working out. And I remember seeing him then and I was just like, there's no way in hell that dude's better than me. But he went to Texas Tech. I went to Northwestern Oklahoma. So I guess they were looking at small school versus Big 12. Regardless of talent level, they were looking at competition. So, next day came, I wrote down every name, asked beside all the receivers, and they were just adding up. And I was just like, what the, really? And it was, you know, just that, I think that's what really started to generate the whole chip in the fuel of everything. You know, my best friend, I remember sitting in there, he was trying to tell me, dude, he said, don't worry about it, man. He said, just wherever you go, dude, just do your thing. And so that's what I tried to do wherever I went. You know, I was just like, I'm gonna make him remember me wherever I go. And so, 216 came around, and I got the call from Coach Parcells and Mr. Jones, and it was where it started, you know, every, it was a bunch of hollering in the house, it was a blessing in disguise, you know, of course it had the pros and cons, you know, I've uh, had so-called cousins from everywhere, you know, that were related, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have to ask my grandmother to find that out, which most of them were probably lying or whatever, but you know. Hey, it, it, was a, it was a fun ride, it was a fun time.